Hey all, this is part seven, and we're going to be generating an array of all keys in an object. I know what you're probably thinking. Where are my methods? And there aren't a ton of methods for objects in general, mostly because objects will have their own methods, and you can sort of define them as you go, which, again, a method is going to be a function inside of an object. However, there are a fair number of methods, and we're going to go over two, one in this part and then one in the next part. And this is going to be if we want to get a, an array of all the keys in an object. Um, quite simply, there's just a method called object.keys. You pass the object that you want the keys of into it, and then you get back an array of those keys. Not a t And they're going to be strings. So not a ton of, again, earth-shattering situations going on here. But in the event that you want an array of all the keys, this is how you're going to do it. So let's talk about one with a little bit more complicated. We've got an address. 123 fake street in Springfield QX 99999. Hopefully that was the right number of nines, but if not, it's okay. Variable keys and address is going to be equal to object.keys, and we pass the address object to it, and then we're going to console.log those keys. Number, street, city, state, and zip code. We're going to complete a function that takes in one parameter, an object. Your function should create a keys variable and assign it to an expression which generates an array of all the keys in said object by calling object.keys, then return that keys variable. Below is an example of the code running. Assuming you will have completed the described function, get all keys. Now, provided we don't have some kind of error I haven't noticed yet, this one should be very straightforward. Here's our test case. Create a keys variable, assign it to an expression which will generate all of the keys in an object. So object.keys, passing in the object parameter. Then we'll return the keys variable. So if we run this, we should get what we got. Let's copy and paste that into the input window. And that sears our salmon. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.